With EZRX, implement barcode scanning to quickly and easily look up prescriptions. Every EZRX prescription includes a barcode. When a prescription or label is printed, the barcode is included. Attach it to the tray or bin for the prescription, and then scan the barcode to quickly pull up the prescription in EZRX. Barcode scanning is integrated in several areas. Search for a prescription either in the global search bar in the upper right corner, or in the search bar on the dashboard. On the in-house lab dashboard, mark cases checked in or completed. On the checkout page, check out and invoice a case on our lab enterprise subscription. Cade Tippett of Tippett Orthodontic Lab recorded a great video showing how he uses barcode scanning. Let's turn it over to Cade to see how easy it is to use a barcode scanner with EZRX. Okay, so I have, so I have my uh, barcode scanner here. You can get one of these at uh, Amazon for pretty cheap. I suggest a wireless one so you can go around your whole lab without uh, being tethered uh, with a cord version of it like I have here. But uh, this is my favorite part of the whole EZRX system. Uh, and I just want to show you in, in video format of what it's like to check out a case. So we're toward the end of the lab. It's the end of the day. It's kind of dirty from us working all day and we're ready to check out some cases and ship them. So uh, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Um, we, since we're in such a small lab, we, uh, we have to use some of our storage cabinets for our end of the day uh, things that we've finished. So if you look over there, you can see this is what I'm gonna be working on next few days. And so when, when it goes through the whole lab, uh, then we put them up here. And so this is where we put them when they're done, ready for me to QC and ready for me to check out. And as you can see, there's a barcode on there. And I just. And then as you look over here, it popped up. Let me do another one. It popped up. See, I, this is great because I can take this wireless thing. And let me scan a few more while you're looking at that screen. As you can see it goes pretty quick. Let me get this other cabinet. Sometimes you get an error, don't get any error, you know. Okay, so I've scanned a few and they are now here. We are they checked out. And now if I click on check it, when I check them out, so you see now I have the office where it's being shipped to. Um, you can put the weight, the size of the box. You can choose which uh, UPS or USPS you want to use and charge. Uh, but you can see it is now broken down all of our shipments we got one going to this place, we got a few going to this place, and a few going to this place, and it gives us the address. Uh, and if, for instance, let's say I'm going, I need to do a few more of these, uh, you can actually pause and put them on hold for next time. So hold for later. And I can ship the rest of these. So. One of the best things I like about this is if you look at the price, you can hover over it and it will actually have the breakdown of all the uh, parts that went into that. So you can check the prices as you go. See, I'm wondering why this is 83 and that's 80. So I'm looking, oh, upper bracket carving, $3. So that's why it's it, that much. And then it, most of y'all know your own prices. So as you look at these, uh, so, there's a regular holly for them. There's a spring. Okay, so that's why that's that way. Now, one cool thing is um, you can set all the weight and the size of the boxes here, and you can create a shipment. So if you're doing UPS, you can create a shipment, and um, I'll explain this later, uh, but you can actually send it to UPS, and it creates a label. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to generate invoices. So I'm going to click this button. Once you've got your uh, what you're charging for your shipping, it'll add that to each invoice when you generate the invoice. So I'm going to generate the invoice. 
it confirms it. So then there's the invoices. That's today's invoices. There are the three invoices uh, that we're working on. I can now view the invoice. I can save one as a PDF. Let's let that open up in the background. So you can preview it. You can actually click on one of these and it goes right back to the prescription, which is great. So it's linked together. Um, you can also edit. So uh, if you need to do some last minute editing. Oh, I've lost it somewhere. Oh, there it is. So if you want to do some last minute, you want to add a charge you know, rush fee, or, you know, you can type in there, rush, uh, and you can put your price, um, or remove, or give a discount, or something like that, uh, but it also gives a description, you can change the description as you see fit, uh, and then, when you're ready, you can actually click here, and click print, and it creates your invoice, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to the printer. And these are the invoices that will be put in the boxes when we go to ship. So all these uh, patients will be in this one box with this one invoice. Thanks for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions.